Good morning, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter, Sorgatron.com. And please, of course, find us on YouTube and iTunes. Good morning with Michael Sorg, uh, uh, Sorgatron Media on the iTunes as well, just right over there. Uh, so this morning, I figured we'd talk about um, a little bit of old stuff. Yeah, old stuff. I, you know, I've talked about before on how we've reused some computers um, around here with the studio, a lot of them that you know we're running on right now, you know. Um, are definitely uh, in that category. And I like to reuse stuff. I don't like throwing anything away. Uh, yep, yep, a little bit of a hoarder. I guess a technology hoarder a little bit. I mean, I do have a beeper back here, guys, you know, just for fun, you know. But, you know, this stuff comes in handy. Um, we were on the bandwagon a little late in the year, but we were on the bandwagon picking up uh, two iPad 1s. We were doing kind of okay at the time, and, and we yeah, we picked up two iPads. Uh, when they first came out, one for me and one for my wife. We figured that's the way it would be. <laughs> and of course, as we went, we got a camera the next year. And of course, I felt very put out in the cold because they started, they still updated the iPads for the longest time. Um, but they left the the iPad, the iPad 2s, they, they updated for the longest time. I think they're still updating them with OSs. Yet the iPad 1 was left out in the cold. This thing is running a uh, iOS 6. Is it? I have to double check that. Maybe five. I think it's five, actually. Um, now, now I want to boot it up and check it out. Um, but we still use them. It was dormant for a little bit. I did pick up a new iPad 3. Yes, a 3. I'm not even going that far, you know, and which has been plenty, plenty useful. It's, it's, this is definitely not a device you have to buy every year, every other year, like you do a, a phone, you know, or which, you know, even a phone, I think it's arguable, right? Um, but you gotta think the form factor hasn't changed. It's still it's still an iPad. It's still the size of an iPad. It's gotten thinner. I know. I know this thing feels so heavy. You know, whatever. Um, and you see, I, even this one is attached to a wonderful little GorillaPod uh, device. And this is what we used as a teleprompter. We just hook that thing underneath the camera. And we have a little teleprompter. And I actually also do have a full kind of teleprompter setup um, that will kind of attach to the front and it has the screen and we'll put this down and reflects it up so you're actually looking straight into the lens. Um, don't use it too often because it's a pain to set up, but if it's something where you just need to kind of throw something up, this is the way to go. And I use a software called Teleprompt Plus, uh, which is some pretty, pretty tremendous stuff, which you know connects to your Dropbox or Google Drive, and, uh, and, and then we're good to go. And it's great for that. And, and you can't get too much else on there. I, I was putting some older games on here uh, for the time being. Um, but, but you know, and again, it still does video fine. You can still get on YouTube with this thing. Uh, for the longest time, I had one of these just sitting on my desk. Anytime I, you know, so it was just kind of always there. And if there was a video I want to pull up or I want to pull up Hulu or something while I'm working at my work desk, um, it's there, you know, and it's attached to a keyboard that thank you, Chilla, for, for passing that on to me. Um, I get a lot of the Chilla hand-me-downs uh, because he's always testing new stuff. Uh, it was, you know, a nice Apple keyboard that was like the docking station, you know, and, and you, you really can't beat the Apple keyboard for something like these, you know. Um, looking for new ones because I got a very mushy wireless keyboard, but uh, not ready to pay like half the price of an iPad to get a good keyboard. But anyways, yeah, so I can get a lot done with these things. It is slow. Um, I, I said to my wife last night, I was like, yeah, this iPad, you see that iPhone 3GS we've been listening to the radio on over there? Yeah, that's basically the same hardware. I And I think I'm right in that. I'm pretty sure that's that's where it lined up. I, I could be a little bit wrong. And yeah, I know probably RAM's different and, and, and probably a little stronger CPU for the time to support this size of a screen, right? And that's the other thing, iPhone 3GS. Uh, that I have used... A couple of times when we do leave it in the kitchen we have an old dock in there and we just play pandora on it you know it's good to go you know it, it can play music just fine i even loaded up uh, some iheart radio and just in case i threw like netflix and hulu on that as well because there's still apps that work on there now you don't know uh, you may not know in a lot of cases if there's an app that's been around for a bit um sometimes they will offer if you have an older you know you can't update it to iOS 8 or 7. Um, they will let you download whatever the most recent version of that app was that worked on your OS. So you're not completely out in the dark with a lot of these things. Now, <laughs> an iPhone 1, which I think tops out at iOS 3, yeah, good luck with that. I, like, I don't think I can even, I don't think I can even connect to the App Store with that thing. But it's still a phone. It still works as a phone. And you can do something with it. 
I'm sure. Super slow. Absolutely super slow, of course. But anyways, I digress. Um, so the most recent thing we did was uh, I actually took the other iPad and we put it up in the kitchen because uh, my, my wife uh, is on this new uh, uh, dietary program, which has been amazing so far. We're about a week and a half into it. And I think this is the one, you know, if we can keep this up, I love it. I love it, uh, but we'll talk about it at another point. But as you can see there, we, we took the old iPad. There's a stand. Once once again, the stand is a, I believe, a chill of hand-me-down uh, from the awesome cast. And uh, now that is our cookbook. I'm like, because she's going around. She printed out this PDF. She's got these little flaggy things. And she's a paralegal. She's very into, like, being very hands-on with those kinds of things, right? Um, and, but I still figured, uh, she's, I'm like, well, why don't we put an iPad in the kitchen? Well, I don't want to get gunky. I'm like, why don't we use one of the old ones? then you're not quite so worried about it. And even this, if you look in this picture, uh, if you guys are on video with me, uh, or you can check out my Instagram, instagram.com slash Sorgatron. Um, it, it's, it should be a, just a, you know, a picture or two down if you're checking this out uh, day of launch here on Tuesday. Um, but uh, yeah, just loaded the PDF into iBooks and we're good to go. And even, you know, there's other stuff on there, like some music and video, if she decides she wants to watch some Netflix while she's cooking or doing dishes or something, right? And that access is there and it's kind of raised up a little bit. So if you're, if you're, you know, if you do spill something, um, hopefully it won't get into the iPad because it is raised up off of the ground a little bit. Uh, and that thing's nice. That's actually also nice because um, you can use regular cords with that dock like a regular um mini not micro but mini usb cords um so we'll probably hook that up there uh, as soon as we get one kind of put aside for that so um and then other than that uh we're also a big uh fans of hand-me-down phones in this family <laughs> uh we'll see how that goes that that, that goes uh uh, rolling out here, a uh, family out in uh, California. Uh, we actually have a pretty massive plan. We do we do a family plan and uh, to help support our parents. Um, our uh, uh, my father and mother in law are both on the on the plan. My dad is on the plan because he wouldn't have gotten a decent phone otherwise. I don't think. Um, so yeah, we have like five lines. And uh, for the most part, you know, Missy and I, we get the new phones because we like to get the new phones. And we get them every other year, you know. Uh, we're currently, you know, both have 5Ss. We we're both expect to get, you know, a 6X when this comes out this year. You know, we, we drop the money on that, you know, every other year. Um, although it always becomes hard because I think, you know, this phone's still working pretty much just fine, right? Um, but then we'll hand these down to... Or parents, which is nice. One case, um, we're not giving them the brand spanking new ones that um, may have some issues, and then we have to deal with that, you know. Um, and and the, because of the way my phones work, I can't remember the last time I didn't replace a phone in the two year cycle. <laughs> so it's actually not a two year old phone by the time they get it. Uh, in this case, just the battery. This is the first time, and we'll see how the next few months go. Uh, that I have not replaced an entire phone, but the 3GS I think I replaced twice, to be honest. Um, and the 4S I broke the screen and had to go pay for that. Um, yeah, but you know, knock on wood, that doesn't happen again. But uh, again, really kind of using that, and then it's handy also as as the parents are trying to figure these out. Uh, my father dropped his phone, uh, which was actually bought brand new. It was the free phone at the time, which was a 4 or a 4S, right into coffee. He just made a hot cup of Joe, and it cracked the screen and the glass on both sides from the heat. But you can still pop it on and hear that little Siri sound chime up. But you didn't see anything. It was very, very curious. I told him to hold on to it just in case. I, not that I know what the heck we could do with something like that without the screen working. But anyways, I digress. So what do you guys, you know, if you're in the Apple family, even you're doing Android, anything else, um, you know, I see using the, this Android tablet for a good while, um, even if I'm kind of pushed to pick up a new one in, a, in, in several years. But I see this one lasting a good bit with the Nexus 7 myself. I, I bought it, was it a 2014? No, 2013 Nexus 7. Wow, I've had that thing for a lot longer than I thought. Um, 
But uh, yeah, what do you? Wh what's kind of your product cycle when you're done with your phones and stuff? Do you go recycle them through Gazelle or 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 through the Apple program or your cell carrier, or are you handing them down? Are you using old tablets and 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 such? You know, around the house. You know, I love it. It feels like I'm I'm walking through the kitchen with a tablet. I feel like uh, Captain Picard walking around with his informational, you know, devices. You know, all over the place, and 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 it's still handy in a shoot. And then I can take this thing on a shoot and not worry about I just busted a $500 device. Yeah, it was a $500 device, um, let's see, about six versions ago <laughs> at this point. So what are you doing with old hardware? Let me know on the YouTube channel. Sorgatron.com is my Twitter. You can also contact me on there. Let me know. Let me know uh, on this YouTube. Good morning. Um, with Michael Sorg on YouTube and iTunes and search for Sorgatron Media for everything going on there. Uh, just added, it should be up here live soon, the Mayhem Minute and many awesome cast shows I've been doing uh, for, for the five days a week. We'll see how these schedules go. Um, and please rate us on there, rate us on, on YouTube, wherever you're watching or listening to us. And we'll see you next time. Have a great morning. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.